I think that if I'm going to continue on this quest for my family members, um, I should give a little um, uh, background on some of the uh, family members that I grew up with, some that I knew of but never met, uh, to give a little better insight into uh, some of the sextons that I am familiar with. Uh, first of all, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Um, if you haven't figured it out by now, my name is Wendell Sexton. Middle name is Paul. Uh, my sister, um, the story goes, oh, bug. <laughs> um, when my sister found out that uh, my mother, our mother, was pregnant with me, she wanted to name me Paul. But my father, he had an epiphany at the hospital, and the name Wendell just came into his head. Now, as representative of anybody who has um, not an unusual but a not a common name, um, it was it was hellacious as a kid, you know, because it just you hated it. But as an adult, the one benefit you find out is that when you have a unique name that's not heard a lot. I mean, Wendell is a name people know, but you don't meet Wendells every day. Uh, that name actually makes you more of a memorable person where people you're, you, you stick out you know? um, if you have the name John Smith I mean there's what a billion John Smiths you know, you're one of a million but if you have a Wendell name you know you're probably one of oh, I might have met maybe a dozen Wendells in my day you know? so um, I was born in uh, well, my parents were living in a small town in Kansas called Chase. My dad was working as a, uh, uh, a high school music instructor. And um, I was born in the hospital of a uh, uh, adjoining town, a little bigger, a lot bigger than Chase, uh, called Lyons. They had a hospital there, that's where I was born. And I lived most of my life in the central Kansas area. Um, my, most of my memories come from a town called Bushton, Kansas, a town, um, probably about 400 people, maybe 500 when my, uh, my uh, dad decided to uh, move there for a new teaching job, um, and that is where I attended all 13 years of my uh, education, you know, kindergarten all the way through high school. It was at, uh, first it was Bushton Grade School, and then the school consolidated with um, the towns of Holyrood and uh, Lorraine and became uh, Quivera Heights, which um, now is no longer in existence because I believe it was last year or maybe the year before when Quivera Heights consolidated with another town called Claflin. So it's, um, I think it's called Central Plains um, right now. Um, it's interesting how the small towns are, I don't want to say they're drying up because I do hear stories about people moving from big cities into smaller towns. Uh, the rural areas are, um, from my from my personal way of seeing it, they are the place to be. You know, there's a serenity, there's a tranquility. You're not so, you know, in the metropolitan areas, everything is just pushed together. You know, it's like you're trying to squeeze as many people into a small a small space as possible. In the rural areas, you have wide open spaces. That's one of the best things about Kansas wide open spaces. So, that's a little bit about me. Uh, maybe in some future videos I can uh, rely a bit more. Um, not a very exciting, adventurous life, but I've seen a few things. You know, everyone has their experiences, including myself. And um, what follows is some of the people who are my immediate family. Well, I want to start off with some of my mother's family because this is one of the earliest uh, pictures I have. This is a um, picture of my uh, grandfather and grandmother Meyer, Jesse and Thurza Meyer, uh, when they were courting. Usually uh, something people don't hear of these days, but that courting produced my mother right here, Betty Jean Meyer. I think this is her high school um, picture, but I'm not sure. It is her during a younger day, and I can certainly see... Uh, myself in her. Here is uh, her siblings. My mother is on the far right there with her mother on the far left and uh, every year they would get together and have one of these uh, portraits of the family 
and um, I think this was in the 60s, I'm not sure. Here's one, an update from the 80s. Uh, my mother's down there on the front row on the left between her sisters, Idell and Lola. And um, I kind of miss not uh, having the chance to get to know my uncles and aunts as I did when I was a kid. Here's a picture of my mother a couple years ago before she died. I want to say it's probably the mid-90s. Uh, she passed away in May of 1997. Here's my dad. I think when he was, uh, I think this is his high school picture. Um, from uh, Abilene High School, somewhere back in the uh, 40s, I do believe. And uh, coming up here now is the most recent picture of him from 2012. Uh, this is when I took him out for his birthday, April 28th, at the uh, Perkins Restaurant in Great Bend. Uh, he's got uh, glaucoma. I think, no, not glaucoma. It's something that affects the side of his face. Um, gosh, if you told me what it was, I could name it for you real quick. Here he is talking with his youngest brother Jim Sexton at the um, uh, Abilene Burger King. They often uh, like to gather together and do that. There they are in the parking lot. And this here is a picture of Michael Jim at his kitchen table at his home in Paola, Kansas. That is where he lives now. He's lived a number of places but uh, that is his current residence. He married my Aunt Alma, Alma Reese, standing there in her kitchen. And they had one, three children, and this is their youngest, my uh, cousin Rodney Sexton. And when we were kids, we had a lot of fun, um, great sense of humor, all the Sextons have. Um, it makes me wonder how I ever got into that family. And here's another, this is my Aunt Naoma, a sister to my, my dad and my uh, Uncle Jim. And she passed away uh, just a couple years ago, and she had a great sense of humor. Her sister was my Aunt Rosalie. Um, she uh, has been married twice. Her first husband, this is her second husband here in their home in Lowry City. That's Jim on the left. And here they are when I saw them at the Abilene Cemetery over the Memorial Day weekend. But this is a picture of her and her first husband, Wyeth Withnow. Another great sense of humor. I loved being around him, a great guy. And uh, he passed away back in 2005. Here's a picture of all the siblings, except my Uncle Dean, who passed away before this picture was taken. Uh, in the middle there is my grandmother, uh, Anna Welch, uh, born early 1900, around 1904. This is who she married, Oscar Olin Sexton. I never got the chance to meet my grandfather because he passed away about 20 years before, before I came along. I think it was 1946, but he sounds like he would have been a guy I really would have uh, enjoyed being around. And here's a picture, I think this is the wedding picture of uh, my grandmother Anna Sexton and Oscar. Uh, look like a very happy couple. This is the home that they were told they would receive if they came back from California. Um, I think it's probably a typical Kansan home back in the, uh, back in the 20s. Um, this is a picture probably taken in the 40s sometime. Uh, maybe the 30s, I'm not sure. This is their uh, young family, and uh, this is 1934. I can tell that because my, um, my Uncle Jim is the uh, infant there in the uh, crib there between his two sisters, and it's uh, a pretty interesting picture. And here's a picture that was taken at a carnival, I guess in the 40s, of my grandmother and uh, my grandfather, Oscar Sexton. Well, there you have it, a little bit of the uh, Sexton family from Kansas. Uh, everyone there grew up in the Abilene area. Uh, my mother's side was in the same basic area, Dickinson County, but just in another town called uh, Carleton. I think about 20 miles uh, east. I'm not sure. My directions get awful mixed up sometimes. But uh, they were both in the same basic area. I will... Uh, try to maybe uh, add a little more as I uh, learn more on this uh, family history genealogy quest um, to give you a chance to learn as I learn and maybe do your own uh, family search someday. <laughs>